Hi, I'm Sean with the Current Science and Technology team at the Museum of Science, and we're currently developing our next Behind the Headline presentation called Hunt for the Higgs Boson. How do you study something you can't directly observe? Scientists often use mathematical models to describe and predict how the universe works. By applying the theory of gravity to observations of planetary motions, 19th century astronomers predicted the location of an unknown planet, leading to the discovery of Neptune. Since then, physicists have described three other fundamental forces that govern the universe and attempted to combine their theories into the standard model. But an unanswered question remains. How do particles governed by these forces attain mass? Physicist Peter Higgs proposed that a ubiquitous field conveyed by a particle called the Higgs boson interacts with matter to give it mass. His mathematical model gave scientists an idea of where and how to look for this important particle. In July, based on a series of experiments colliding particles at the highest energies yet achieved, scientists announced they'd found evidence of the Higgs boson. Find out why this discovery excites so many and how it contributes to our understanding of the universe. Join us any day in the month of September at 2.30 in the Gordon Current Science and Technology Center for our new Behind the Headline presentation called Hunt for the Higgs Boson.